Hey guys. So we're gonna do um, a fun coloring sort of project. And it's gonna have lots of lines and you're gonna have to focus on what you're doing. So to start off, you just need to draw all the lines. Do not scribble, because that's gonna be make it really difficult on you later to, when you're coloring. Just start by making lines, and they can be squiggly lines, loop-de-loop, -loop, straight. Just keep making lines until you fill up the whole page, and you only have small sections. So see, this is a small section. This is not. That's a big section. So cut up all those big sections with lines until you have smaller sections. Now you don't want tiny sections though, so you got to pay attention to where you're putting the lines. That's a tiny section. I'll have to be careful when I color that one. done, I think. Okay. I filled it up with all kinds of lines. And now I can take my Sharpie and trace the lines. Yeah, I was paying close attention when I put the lines down so that I wouldn't have things on top of each other exactly the same way or lines all scribbled. As you can see, I'm just tracing over the lines I made. Now I finished doing that erase my pencil lines. So let me get an eraser. <laughs> and I'll just do this top corner to show you guys. So after the pencil lines are erased, carefully, remember if you don't hold it right and you try to erase, it'll bunch up. So remember, hold your hand like an L and just erase exactly where you're focusing on. Don't try to erase all big and crazy. So now this is going to be a marker project. We're going to use all our markers. And it's going to be a good project to help us figure out what markers work and what markers don't. So you could take a marker, decide what section you're going to color, and color it in. This is a focusing project so that you do not leave any white spaces, not even a little, because it's all about coloring in these little sections. If you leave any little section even a little bit white, it's not going to look good. So You can even go over the color when you're done. But that yellow worked really good, so I can put it back in the box. Let's try another one. How about this red? This red works good, too. See how I colored it in? Now, any of these colors around that are touching that red one, I wouldn't want them to be red too. So you've got to make sure you're being careful when you color to use a new color. Not every single time, or you'll probably run out of colors if you do that, but all the times where the colors are next to each other. See how some of the pink is a little bit light? I can go over it and make sure it's all the way colored in. How about this? Yeah. And then if you ever do find a marker that doesn't work at all, then you'll throw it away and get a new one. Okay, so that's how the whole picture is going to go. And it's going to look really cool when we're done. But that's just the start. Okay, okay guys, have fun.